Hey there, guys. What is going on? Sloppy here. <laughs> and my voice is a little bit, um, not great right now. The Raptors, if you guys don't follow sports, uh, Canada's only basketball team is in the NBA Finals for the first time ever. And uh, I'm saving up all of my voice to yell at them um, on the television. So I apologize for my weird lack of voice this morning, but, uh, you know, I'll try and fight through it because it's that time of year. It only happens once every 35 years or something. And who knows, given what the Maple Leafs have accomplished in the last 45 years, this may be the last time I get to cheer on my hometown teams in any sort of championship setting. Anywho, what is up? How come back? The last two episodes have been crazy. The support has been amazing. We reached 50 episodes on this series, so thank you guys so much for that and all the support. I, um, you know, I started this world because I wanted to be on a server with a lot of activity and play with some of you guys, and it really has been just so much more fun than I could have possibly imagined. There's so many incredible builds on the server, and uh, they're so spread out. I'm not going to lie. There are so many I haven't even seen that people have built, and um, yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, this community build, I did the tour of. It is incredible. You guys are phenomenal. I'm sure I'll be back. There's some builds that still are being worked on, so I'm sure I will be back in this area to check them out. But um, let's head off because I have something I've been meaning to do forever that today, today, I'm getting started. Well, here we are in the teleporter center, and I have a teleporter that I've been saving. <laughs> and today, I want to work on uh, where that is going to go, because if there is something we desperately need on this server for myself, and I've needed since it started, is a, uh, a better storage room. I have a really awful storage room, and I've been collecting blocks, and it is time to finally have some better storage. I don't, I don't, I have no funny way to say that. I really need a storage room, and I'm really excited because I have absolutely um, no plans for how to decorate it yet, so I'm really excited to sort of just go in blind. I kind of have this idea to um, use blocks. We are, we are going to work on the PvP Coliseum, by the way. I'm not done with that or anything. Some awesome, awesome community builds. Um, also, if you guys have a place uh, that you want me to check out in a video, just let me know in the Discord, because that's usually how I find them. Anyway, let's uh, head over to spawn. Um, yeah, I know how I want my storage room laid out, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But I do not know how I want it deck. That was English. Come on, sloppy. Ooh, this is why you shouldn't drink the night before recording a video, kids. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, alcohol kills brain cells. It is proven. I, um... I know how I want my storage room laid out, but I do not know how I want to decorate it. And I'm kind of thinking of going crazy with decorating it and trying to use blocks that I don't use, that I've never used in other builds. There's a lot of blocks in this game that I have never used. And I'm thinking maybe it's time to try and use them. And I don't know. But anyway, this is my storage room currently. I started this before the server was even public. It has lasted us quite a while, but it is just not... Well, it's just not... The, the issue with this, I'm sure, becomes immediately clear. We have no storage. Like, this is the crafted, crafted blocks section. You can see it's just chess of chess of chess. If I'm looking for blocks of a specific type, I have nowhere to look. So that's one of the biggest reasons I need a storage room. I also want a little bit of extra room for adding some um, extra stuff. We'll talk about all that in a second. I basically, I, you know what? I, I can show you guys what I want in a storage room because I've already built myself a perfect storage room. It's just on a different server. Well, well, well. Look where we are in front of this amazing trade station. Can you call your own work amazing? I will because it's awesome. I love it. I love it a lot, and it's functional, and it's perfect. <laughs> I love this build so much. Every part of it down here. Uh, yeah, I want to build something um, like this. I really loved this build. It was so different. This build, if you guys didn't 
weren't on the channel around the time I built this. This is the Creator server, by the way, um, what I'm on right now. This build is actually based on a real-life train station, and I think I might try doing something similar where I copy, like, a real-life build at some point. I, I don't know what yet, but... Anyway, um, we are in this world because I built a storage room here <laughs> that I really love. It's super functional. It's great. Um, so I want to check that out. And then I was just sort of thinking about it. I'm like, man, it has been a while since I've been on this server. There's a lot of great stuff. A lot of great, great stuff. A lot of terraforming in this area. Anyway, if we go to my touchstone, that is where good things happen. Whoa! Wow, that's incredible. These new loading screens, man. That is a wild desert village. Look at that. Horrorargoro. Amazing work. Uh, yes, this is my... <laughs> Yeah, I forgot how I decorated it. Um, this is my storage room. So the idea with it is that I have basically within reach, I have all of the blocks that I grab most often. So basically all of the blocks that, like the mind blocks, I suppose. You know, your bedrocks, your stones, your limestone, mud, all of that stuff. Even like corrupted, I probably won't put in my new system because I never use corrupted blocks. Uh, but the idea is basically to have all the things that you use most often sort of easily reachable. And uh, then we have a setup of teleporters, which in this case I put sort of below the ground. And if it's red, that means it's connected. And basically I can grab what I need and then move on. We've got a processor and a forge here. And then we have a room that is basically just for storage of the crafted block sets. So every block is part of a set um, of some description. So I want something similar to this. In this room, I decided to sort of have it uh, be organic. The only thing I had was I wanted to be able to see a block from every set from like any angle of the room. So no matter where I was, I could say, oh, that's where my jungle is. Yada, yada, yada. I, something similar to this, I think, would be a fantastic. Um, perhaps a little bit cleaner, but yeah. Essentially, some sort of version of what I have here, because I really liked how this was set up. I could grab my blocks if I needed, you know, a specific block set. You know, I could check my storage here. One of the big things, like, all of this is basically when you finish a project, I would come and dump the blocks here. So if I had a big medieval build, I would come dump... The medieval blocks here that I used in that build. Because usually you have, you know, storage at your project when you're building it. So this is really more sort of for after the fact. But yeah, this is sort of um, what I want. The other thing I kind of want is something similar to this. This is a really big processor and forge area. Uh, you know, this one's obviously more decorative than anything else. Very sort of dark and looming <laughs> in the mountain biome with all the peak stone. Wow, this room is great. I really like this room. But yeah, you can see we got the ores and everything. So some sort of version of this. Probably not as many processors and forges. This was more for sort of creative purposes. Um, and then, yeah, what did I have over here? This was teleporters, I believe. Yeah, these are all teleporters. This was just sort of a four looks thing. It took me forever to do this roof. Anyway... Yes, this is sort of what I want on the, you know, public server. It's some sort of storage room, processing forge room, all connected. But perhaps a little bit more streamlined. Like, I kind of want it to be a little bit more compacted, perhaps a little bit more efficient, a little less uh, based on the aesthetic choices as this one was. So, yeah. Essentially a one-stop place for all of my needs when I'm sort of crafting and whatnot because you know there's nothing worse than sort of getting into a project than being like oh I need to do this and you have to go to a few different places so yeah let's uh head back onto the other server what I need to do right now is pick a place a location that I actually want to do this in um I'm not really sure if I want to go like underground or what I was thinking it might be kind of cool to do it in like the corrupted layer because I've never really built down there and I do want to sort of push myself outside of my comfort zone. 
And the Corrupted is definitely outside of my comfort zone. So I thought that could be kind of cool. Maybe we could build it on, like, the bottom of the world block. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go see how that would be. Yeah! I don't think I want it to be down here. And part of the reason is just I don't like it. The purple is really nice. I do like the purple and the blue. Like, it's a very nice aesthetic. And I do want to build down here eventually. I think there's a lot of really cool things you could do down here. I'm thinking it would be really cool to do some sort of, like, obstacle course type game down here. Because you have the, like, corruption effect. You know? If you give somebody, like, a potion, then there's, like, basically a time frame before they die, right? So, like, if you give someone a potion, it's, what, five minutes? And then... You know, you have five minutes and then, one, you know, a minute extra before the corruption really destroys you. So that could be a really fun way to do some sort of, like, timed course. And, you know, it's so pretty down here. It really is. I love the purple background. The only problem I have is I kind of am thinking vertically. Um, I think vertically is good for how we're going to use uh, a lot of space up and down a little bit and i just feel like if we go a little bit up like right above this i mean we have lava right so i think we only have about 20 30 blocks it just it feels like it'd be cramped and it would also just be a lot of work clearing out water and stuff and uh <laughs> yeah i just uh i don't think down here is for me i do want to build down here eventually though because it is it is super pretty. You know, I, I don't come down here enough, especially now that you can power smash. I mean, there's nothing to be afraid of. Well, I guess my plan now is just to fly around until I hit an area. Wow, I have not explored much. I guess my plan now is just to fly around until I hit an area that sort of inspires me. I guess I sort of want it to be... In indoor, outdoor living space, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna fly around. I'm gonna go northeast to try and clear some of this map. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know what I'm looking for exactly. Um, if water wasn't so difficult to work next to, I think being somewhere near that could be really cool. Yeah. It's just such a pain, water, in this game. Yeah, I don't know. I'll let you guys know if I find somewhere. Just floating around. Well, well, well. Look at what my adventuring has led to. Me stealing. Beeswax from whoever's house this is. Um, I need a place to stay tonight. It's getting nighttime. Um, this is interesting. Is this like a mine? Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, somebody's got this whole setup. Hello. Cactus farm. New area. Yeah, no kidding, eh? Who's, uh, whose place is this? Wowzers! It's all decorated and stuff. Look at this. Wow, look how charming. Ooh, that's a really nice little coffee table. This, uh, yellow adobe looks great in here. We got a beautiful kitchen. It's all... What? What? Look at that grill. Are you kidding me right now? This is incredible. I mean, seriously, if I wasn't already... I don't know how to finish that. We got a storage room back here. What is going on? How is this just hiding on the server and I've never seen it? They've got a pool? I mean, seriously, this person is living... Well, it's not a mineral water pool. Maybe the hot tub is? Yep. They really are living high. Living the high... Well, I guess I can't say living high anymore because that sort of has a different connotation in Ontario now. Am I right? What up? Um, <laughs> oh, Canada. Um, ooh, okay. Unfinished attic. Can't have everything. Can't have everything. This place is incredible. You know what? I'm going to crash in one of those bedrooms upstairs. I don't know why I decided to jump in the pool. You know people would just be launching off this balcony. Well, maybe your friends aren't as stupid as mine. I know more than a few people that instantly would have been off the balcony. Um, ooh, everyone's got a little ensuite. 
darn, I don't know who lives here, but gosh tootin', they've got some, like, I really like this, like, it's so cute, it's, it's cute, you know what I mean, it's cute. Um, okay, I'm on the second balcony, I wanted to see, excuse me, I wanted to see, uh, it looked like there was some stuff over here, so that's why I was coming to check out. Just, uh, looks like some phaser farms. Cute little house. Huh. So we got corrupted. So I guess, like, mob farm, passive mob farm is the idea. Interesting. So, yeah, you have a passive mob farm with some of the different blocks up here. Yeah! Wow, wow, wow! Look at this! You got all the different biomes represented so you can get all the different mobs. Holy smokes! Who built this? This is incredible! They haven't claimed any of it either, have they? Oh, look at that! It's a full chunk. I guess if you stand up there in the AFK, it loads the whole thing. This is incredible. Yeah, yeah. So four lava, the rest corrupted. Oh, yeah, I guess this would work as a chest spawner too, eh? Sorry to whoever's place this was. I stole some chests. I stole a chest. What a brilliant design. Um, can I get up here? What a brilliant... What a, what a cool... I've never really seen anyone go full mob farm. Taking that as a thumbnail. How's that for some clickbait? Somebody built a full mob farm. That is super, super cool. Do not know whose area this is. Oh, look at this. Wow, what a good looking boat. Right off the back of their manor that they built on the water themselves. I mean, seriously, the amount of wealth this person displays. Wow, this is all decorated too. We've got some sun loungers. Holy cow. You can eat in here. Look at that. They've got the table all set. Oh! Oh! This is... This is next level cool. I tell you what. This is... <laughs> this is so neat. They've got a hot tub in the front. Got antennas. Holy smokes. Are you kidding me right now again? Get out of oh 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 this was claimed. Okay. Maybe we can find out Nalordia's zone. Nalordia. Wowzas. Wowzas. Oh, for some reason that bumped me all the way over to here. This is a really, really amazing zone. Um, okay, yeah, I gotta get back over to there so I can take off. Um Yeah, this is amazing. Wowzas. My, um, exploration of the server. <laughs> Somebody, I think, is making a pebble cult. Um, Jawa, King of the Norm the <laughs> Second. There's a ghost pigsy wearing a bow tie and a Santa hat being worshipped on an altar <laughs> by a bunch of pebbles. Uh, yeah, so, I'm gonna just get out of here. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, 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 yep, 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 um, I'm gonna put my base as far away from that as possible. Ooh la la, look at this. This is really cool. I've uh, seen these, these sort of circular style cave cliff things. I think every map that they have has some sort of variation on it. They're super cool. I think we can fly right through them. Is this a circular one? Because that would be super awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This could be really cool to use. Maybe we could put our storage room, like, right in the center post. 
that could be really neat. I'm kind of digging it. I also really like this uh, this block. What do we call this? Dead grass. You know. <laughs> oh, the only thing I don't like is that the canyon is right there. But this could be a really cool spot. I think. Hmm. I'm gonna give it some thought, but this uh, this is a this is a definite maybe. This is a definite, definite maybe. One of the things I kind of wanted close to where we set up was a place to like get wood, which we do not have here. I guess it wouldn't be a big deal to use like a teleporter. I did want somewhere to get wood. This would be really neat though. I really like the way it looks. It kind of is a heart shape, isn't it? Like if you are up here, kind of heart shaped. The hard line with the uh, snow is kind of weird, but I think we could make it work. I mean, it's kind of cool. We could always like dig out these canyons if we really don't like them. It might be kind of cool to extend this cave right over, do some hardcore terraforming. I don't know. This is a this is a definite maybe though. It's like that movie, definitely maybe. This is a definitely maybe. I thought we would end today and start construction fresh in the next episode, and I thought, um, well, I just kind of felt like going back to the very first ever world I played on. This is uh, the Project of Singularity server. A group of gamers. Um, we all, I can't remember, somebody suggested this game. Uh, I believe it was Asher's great YouTube channel. Um, suggested this random sort of Minecraft game called uh, Creativerse, and it was pretty new at the time. Very new at the time, I guess. Maybe a year into its sort of development. And uh, yeah, I played on here for quite a while before moving over to... Excuse me, I have the hiccups. But before moving over to the uh, Creativerse, Creatinator server. But anyway, I thought... Uh, I kind of wanted to see what my storage was like in this one because I can't imagine it was good. I had this whole little base set up. I'm really drawn to the peak stone biomes. I can't help myself. I love me some peak stone. <laughs> this was when slabs first came out for these blocks. I built a restaurant. It's super weird. I kind of dig it. It's sort of, uh, sort of strange. Sloppy's Diner. You know this place would be so overpriced. Yeah, kitchen down below. Anyway, uh, something. Big big old cave there. Got a gas station. Built this trail all the way from spawn to my place. I know everyone's seen this probably a few times if you've been on the, uh, on the server, uh, on the channel for a while. But, uh, you know, it felt weirdly nostalgic going and seeing the creator server. And I just thought, you know, it would be cool seeing even further back. Gas station. I think, yeah, right down here there's a Rockzilla spawner. Yep, there he is. Rockzilla. We've got the uh, farm UFO. There's a big farm in that UFO in the middle of the canyon. Simpler times. You know, this was before a lot. I mean, this was... Building all this was, I think, the only, like... This was before the medieval block set, before the galactic, before any of those. I think the only paid block sets were, like, the hardened lava. And those ones, yeah, I was really, I really loved the uh, the limestone blocks. I still do. They're great blocks. This was all terraformed. It took forever because I didn't use extractors, which was ridiculous. Um, <laughs> look how bad this looks. Oh man, this is terrible. Oh, look at how stupid. It doesn't even. Oh my gosh. It's fine. It's fine. I used fans as an elevator. I didn't want to use teleporters for some reason. Oh, right. This was... Actually, this is an idea I kind of want to copy. This was just a resource collection. That's where you go to get stone, sand, wood. Like, just the very basic resources. Yep, yep, yep. If we go up... This was my storage room, right? Yep, just stacking chests. Oh yeah, this was before. This was when you could only stack 99. No wonder I needed so many chests. They're not even full, but... Yeah. Yeah. 
99 block. Oh, right, I built a new storage room. Wait a minute, what am I doing here? This was the very original. Wait, is this the server that I... I might have built a better storage room on the server. Yeah, this was, this must have been the turtle server, right? Maybe? I think so. Maybe? We'll see. I might have built a turtle on the server. Now they're running. To, I can't remember if it was this one to the creator. It was this one. Yeah, I built a turtle. Look at this on the map. I accidentally built a turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the redone storage room, which is kind of similar, I guess, in idea to be able to see exactly what you want. Um, done in a little bit bigger of a, of a way. Really happy with this roof. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, really stepped it up here. Yeah, it's still 99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, <laughs> now that we've seen all the storage rooms I have to offer. Mount minigame. I don't remember. Oh, I, I think I remember the minigame area. Sorry, this is getting weirdly nostalgic for me. Now I'm just going through teleporters. I apologize. We've seen now all the storage rooms. You guys, I probably have some idea of what I want to build. I think it's going to be really fun. I have a lot of ideas. I think we're going to use that cave area. We'll start it up next time. I have a lot of ideas. I think that'll look pretty good. Right, I tried to build an elytra flying course here. The elytra flying course is an idea I keep wanting to have, but keep not implementing. I love the cobblestone, this, this block here. Such an amazing texture. One of my favorites. I love it as a path block. It looks so good with the wood. Yeah. The green is which direction to go next. The problem is the elytra just isn't... The world doesn't load quite smooth enough for this, I think. Like, they're a little bit awkward. Yeah, see, like, stutters like that there are what keep me from wanting to try and building another elytra course these aren't elytra glider sorry i'm confusing games um yeah maybe next update i have a feeling the next update is going to be like an amazing bug fix update because they you know now that they're on the new engine i think they can really start just cracking down on some of the stutters and stuff so i think that'll be great i would love an option to be able to automatically restart the server like once a week because I feel like after the refreshes it just runs so well you know anyway now I'm just talking uh, we're gonna work on the storage room over the next few episodes I'm really excited I have a ton of ideas I love starting new projects and not finishing them you guys know that no we really do need a storage room really excited for it I built a parkour course they're mirror images of each other this was before my absolute loathing of parkour took over my being I'm sorry, this turned into a weird tour of old servers. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe for more. All that jazz. Almost had it. Anyway, yeah, leave a like down below. Subscribe for more. Let me know if you guys are excited uh, to... Um, see the storage room project if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that please let me know in those comments down below i'll blame i'll blame lag for that one sure 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 uh <laughs> let me know if you guys have any suggestions down below subscribe for more all that jazz sorry this video went on so long nostalgia man it's a powerful drug it's like heroin but probably won't kill you as fast this took a weird turn. I apologize. I'll see you guys later. Ciao!